When it comes to searching for package on OpenBSC, the common approach is to use package info with Q flag and then pass the package name that you are looking for, let's say Emacs. As you may have noticed, it takes a while to look for the Emacs package or for any package, especially if it's not cached, it has to actually make a network call to pull the package information from the internet. This could be frustrating in some cases. For instance, I was trying to port one of my programs and I needed to actually make many queries to the PKG info and I realized that it's not as performant as I would like to be. A faster alternative is to use a command called PKG locate. Let's check its man page. PKG locate is built on top of the locate command but it uses three databases by default. PKG locate DB, which actually contains all the OpenBSC packages, SRC, which is the base packages of OpenBSC, and XOR contains all the X related packages. To use PKG locate, first you have to install PKG locate DB. Do as PKG add PKG locate DB. Once you have it installed, you can search for any package that you wish, for example, Firefox. As you may have already realized, it's much faster than PKG info, but it introduces quite a bit of noise because it searches for package name, package path, and also any file names that matches. But wait a second, there is another approach and that is using a script that I have created called PKG search. Let me demonstrate it to you. I pass the help flag, it prints a very nice summary, including list of the supported switches and the dependencies. PKG search dependencies are PKG locate DB and FCF or fuzzy finder. To use it, simply type PKG search and pass the keyword, let's say Firefox. It also supports inline search, let's say 0AD. And once you press enter, it prints the package name. This is useful if you would like to pipe the output of the PKG search to any other commands. In addition to that, you can use info flag and pass your keyword. Once you press enter, it calls PKG info underneath to pull the package description. Note that this switch might be a bit slow as it may need to make a network call if the data is not cached already. Now let's check the script code. This is the repository I have created. You can clone the repository and play around with it. I add the link to the video description. It's a simple script, contains only 80 lines of code, which most of it are related to printing stuff and parsing the argument. The main task is done only in a single line, which is here. So basically, it pulls everything from PKG locate, more or less like a database dump, and then pipe it to cut, separate it by column, and gets the first column, which is the package name. Since the results may have some duplicates, it pipes it to unique and finally to FCFS. You can download it, play around with it, and let me know what do you think. That's all for this video. Merry Christmas and have a great time. Cheers!